Scientists have determined that during the period immediately after the ice sheet receded, a major ecological event occurred that is as baffling as it was abrupt. Large mammals of the ice era began to die off, resulting in the largest wave of extinctions of mammals known to have occurred before or since. These included ferocious creatures, the dire wolf, saber-toothed tiger, and short-faced bear. The Museum of the Earth near Ithaca presents an interpretive display describing the upstate New York landscape during the time when these animals and the dinosaurs that preceded them roamed the countryside. One exhibit, a complete skeleton of a mastodont discovered in a bog in the Hudson Valley region in 1999, is yet another link between the modern age and the ice age. A number of theories have developed over the years in attempts to explain why these giant creatures died off. Some scientists cite possible overhunting by humans who may have streamed across land bridges from Asia during the Ice Age, then made their way eastward and northward as the ice receded. There's clear evidence that Paleo-Indians hunted mastodonts. Others blame significant climate changes that may have limited available forage. There's also compelling evidence that toward the end of the last ice age, atmospheric temperatures were significantly higher than today. Whatever calamity spelled the end of these ice age mammals, the mastodont era was a significant part of New York State's ecological history, one that is chronicled in an elegant interpretive display at the New York State Museum in Albany. Along Earth's geological timeline, these animals were grazing upstate valleys and hillsides just yesterday alongside early humans. Many questions remain about why the mastodont and the equally mysterious woolly mammoth disappeared over a relatively short span. Future generations may one day reveal the answers. Both the Hyde Park mastodont and a similar find, the Gilbert mastodont, uncovered at a site north of Elmira, also in 1999, were unearthed at the bottom of mud-filled pools that originated as kettle ponds. A particularly fine example is Beaver Lake, just west of Baldwinsville, New York, site of a magnificent old-growth hemlock forest and an exceptional floating peat bog along its margins. Each serves as ideal habitat for certain birds and animals.